WWE World, day one, we got some new figures to talk about. AJ Styles and you're watching Bretto Live. Yes, WWE World first day was today, Thursday, and they revealed a ton of new WWE Mattel figures, elites, ultimate editions, basics. We're going to be talking about all of them in this video. If you guys didn't see my video that I posted just yesterday, I was talking about some new ultimate editions coming out, some new sneak peek figures. Check that video out. Today, we're talking about all the figures we did not talk about yesterday, and I'm excited. There's a lot of figures to get to, so let's jump in, man. And as I'm going through the figures, let me know your favorite figure down in the comment section down below. No particular order to this list, but we are going to start off with the Greatest Hits WWE Ultimate Edition Series. First figure, Batista. Dude, we got a new Batista coming, and I thought, because, okay, this is the Greatest Hits Series. We're just going to see the same red and white trunks that we saw in the Target exclusive, right? Nope, they changed it. We're getting some blue trunks on an Ultimate Edition Batista, and I'm really freaking excited about it. As far as the rest of the accessories, it's going to be the same accessories, but a new attire on a Greatest Hits? Let's go! Finally! Let's freaking do this, man. Let's go. That's awesome. Also in that series, we're seeing the formerly being an Amazon exclusive rock figure that I got a couple years back and actually became really rare over time. I don't really collect figures for value, so this doesn't really affect me, but if you do, I can understand why you'd be a little bothered by this release. But we're seeing the rock again here, the Amazon exclusive rock, and this is a stupendous Ultimate Edition figure, so I'm really glad that they're re-releasing it here for maybe somebody that missed it when it was an Amazon exclusive all those years ago. This rock looks great to the head scans, the shirt, the belt, everything about it. We all, we already know it's fantastic. But from this photo, I can't tell if they changed anything on the trunks. Maybe they did change the color of the logo on the trunks. I don't know yet. I need to get it in hand or we need to get more photos of it. Um, but yeah, this is the only photo I have and I think it looks fantastic with all the accessories. It's a great figure. I already know because I have it on my shelf. Mattel has really done it all now. We're seeing the Eddie Guerrero lowrider. What? It's going to be part of the, I believe it's going to be part of the Wrecking line. And we're seeing the Lowrider here, Eddie Guerrero's Lowrider, that I literally saw in person last year at WWE Superstore when it was the Superstore and not WWE World, sponsored by Fanatics. It was free to get into. Um, but yeah, here is the freaking Lowrider, and it looks awesome. I'm really excited for this. This looks like a more quality vehicle than the past uh, Wrecking lines. It looks more realistic. The tires flex up and down with hydraulics. It's got some really cool features where the trunk flings a figure. It's got cool decals on it too. It's a really nice red and gold color scheme. I'm excited for it, man. And this is definitely gonna be a cop for me. The new lowrider, putting an Eddie Guerrero in there, dude. Come on, it's gonna look freaking sick. And this is definitely gonna be a must cop for me and I believe a lot of other people. A lowrider? What? This is sick, dude. Like, they've really done it all now. Uh, that is cool. Uh, jumping into Elites here, we have WWE Elite Series 109. Starting off with a bang, Shinsuke Nakamura! We got Shinsuke Nakamura, who, in my opinion, well deserved for a new Elite. And here he is. Oh, look at that cloth good, bro. Amazing black cloth good. Looks big looks imposing. I love cloth goods. This looks fantastic. He's coming in a nice red and black gear. I thought at first I'm like, okay, the white and the black will probably be the chase, right? No, it's the red and the black. But speaking of the white and the black, the white and the black looks so much better in my opinion. And that just happens to be the regular version. The one that's going to be easier to get your hands on, which I think is absolutely awesome. The white pinstripes look so cool on his attire, bro. Coming with the same cloth goods, so you don't have to worry about that changing. And I'm going to be getting both of them. So I'm going to have two of those cloth goods, which is freaking sick, man. Shinsuke Nakamura. Dirty Dominic Mysterio. This won't be the first time I talk about this figure in this video. I'm going to be talking about him later because there are some banger Judgment Day figures that they showed off. Stay tuned. You're not going to want to leave this video early or watch this video all the way to the end. Uh, Dominic Mysterio, WWE Elite Series 109. I think this one looks great. As far as the parts itself, I feel like a lot of it's reused from the first Dominic, but it's really cool because we're seeing that flannel, that cool bandana covering his mouth, the glasses. The hair is going to be a little longer. The hair is definitely going to be a little longer than his first Elite. I'm really excited for this Dominic Mysterio. I think it's unique. I think they took a different turn with it, especially with the flannel and not just another wrestling attire. I like it though. It's super cool, super unique. And I'm really excited for this Dominic Mysterio. Damien Priest. Damien Priest, man. Oh, so overdue. 
for a new wrestling figure. Here he is, WWE Elite Series 109, coming with a cloth shirt. If I remember right, when this figure was announced, he was set to come out with a rubber robe. And honestly, I would have preferred the rubber robe because the Judgment Day shirt that he's coming with, we saw the same one with the Dominic Mysterio Elite. Uh, but minus the accessories, the figure itself looks stupendous. The head scan's amazing. Is the head scan a little big for the body or is that just me? Um, I do think other than that, I think the figure looks fantastic. The molding and tooling that went into the pants is absolutely insane. I can just tell by the photo. I love the wings on the back of his singlet, the hair. Everything about this uh, everything about this Judgment Day Damian Priest, so cool. First Judgment Day Damian Priest, I think that's absolutely insane. Um, but I think he looks fantastic and I'm really excited for him. Uh, that's gonna be awesome. Bailey, let's go. Another well overdue Bailey, dude. Let's go, man. Damage control Bailey. Uh, even though she's no longer in damage control, but this is still an accurate looking Bailey to what she's wearing right now. So this is really cool. She's coming with the thumbs up. I like the cloth shirt, the damage control shirt with the unique lettering on it. That looks awesome. I love the head scan. Bro, the updated red in the hair, the bigger hair looks so good. I like the attire choice with the red and the black. It looks current. It looks updated. And once again, even though she's not in damage control anymore, this figure will still work for a current Bailey. I do like Bailey a lot more ever since she left the damage control, so this figure is definitely a must for me. Really excited for that Bailey. Also in that series, this one caught me insanely off guard, but the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. I knew he was gonna be in the set, but I didn't know what attire they, they were gonna go with. I was like, okay, maybe the Royal Rumble attire, maybe just a random attire he's worn on Raw. No, they went with a suited elite, bro. A suited elite Cody Rhodes looking sick. Accessories, he's coming with a head set a commentary headset that's so cool oh uh, i don't think we've I, we've never seen a commentary headset from mattel oh my god i don't think we have that's insane we've seen ringside collectibles exclusive accessories of a headset but i don't think we've ever seen an official one from mattel comment down below if i'm wrong i could be wrong on that uh he's coming with a chair that we originally saw with the raw and smackdown main event rings bringing back that accessory how cool and the cody rose figure itself i love the color choice that they went with the gray suit looks really professional looks really clean the blue tie the head scans reused it's a must it's a must for me, and I feel like a lot of other people. I'm very excited for that. Seth Rollins. Bro, it's going to be one of the best-selling Seth Rollins elites of all time. No doubt about it. Look at the new WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Dude, we're seeing the title. I'm so glad we're finally seeing that belt in the WWE Elite line. Uh, it looks awesome in action figure form. And look closely. He's got the Seth Rollins custom side plates. We're getting that. I think that's awesome. Updated highlights in the hair. I think the head scan's cool. I like the attire choice. I think the gold matches the gold that he's got around his waist, the championship. So I totally think this works for a Seth Rollins. I would have liked to have seen like some sort of entrance gear. I'm not going to lie. He looks kind of plain Jane. You know, Seth Rollins, he always comes out with that flashy entrance gear. I feel like he should have came with like, you know, some sort of entrance piece. But he does come with the world championship. So that kind of makes up for it. This figure looks great. It's a must for me. A little Coliseum collection update. We're seeing more close-up photos on the Million Dollar Man and Ricky the Dragon. Dragon Steamboat here. Here's one photo of Million Dollar Man uh, looking fantastic with a full suit cloth good, which they haven't done since the original basic entrance crates. This color is cool too. I like the shiny uh, pink and the shiny like grayish black to it. Looks really cool. I love the head scan. This is a must. Obviously, Coliseum collections are fire. Available at MattelCreations.com. That's the only place you can get them. Uh, that looks awesome. And yes, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, who I didn't think for a second was gonna come with entrance gear, but bro is. Let's go, dude. He's coming with um, the cloth entrance gear, which looks fantastic. It ties up in the front. The Ricky Steamboat looks sick, man. And I love like the feet too, look at the feet. It's like that unique boot with a two-toe. So awesome. I'm very excited for this Coliseum collection. Could be the best Coliseum collection. I'll definitely be reviewing it on the channel, so stay tuned for it. Um, gonna be getting it, obviously, from MattelCreations.com, obviously. On the way soon, a Dusty Rhodes, the American dream. Dream is getting an Ultimate Edition. This was unexpected. I'm not gonna lie, but of course, with all the new hype from his son, Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare, uh, why not? Let's get a freaking American Dream Ultimate Edition, and here he is. Obviously, it's a very unfinished product. You can tell by the colors of the parts, uh, but they're just giving us a little sneak peek of what we're gonna be seeing. I like how we're seeing three interchangeable heads, some cool cloth goods, some a nightstick. He's got that bandana he's gonna have. Super awesome. I'm looking forward to it. I think he deserves an Ultimate Edition, especially with like him being a bigger person, his elites can sometimes be stiff in the legs. So definitely with the Ultimate Edition articulation, that'll definitely make up for that. So I'm excited for this Dusty Rhodes. Speaking of Ultimate Editions, oh my God, Seth Rollins! <laughs> 
Ah, oh my god. I talked about this figure yesterday a little bit in my first figure reveals video because there was a sneak peek of it in a poster. But here it is. I knew we were going to get it. Up close photos of this fire, wink wink, fire Seth freaking Rollins, dude. He looks freaking sick. Look at the wings, the horns, the heart glasses. This figure's wacky as crap. And I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's freaking sick. Cloth good flame shirt. The pants are crazy. Look at the decals on the pants, man. This looks sick. Two interchangeable heads, one with the open mouth. He's got the whoa hands, you know, the whole ordeal there. I'm excited for this set, and wow, that is absolutely fantastic. And I will be getting my hands on that figure no matter what. That thing looks freaking sick. Ultimate Edition John Cena. Yes! Let's go! You can't see me, baby. John Cena, a current John Cena. They haven't done an Ultimate Edition John Cena yet. A current one. They've done classic Cena as an Ultimate Edition form, but not a current John Cena. And here he is with his newest attire. Looking so cool, dude. Look at the towel, bro. He's coming with the rally towel, the cloth rally towel. They've never done that. That's something I've always wanted to do. But I hate to point out a gripe because this figure looks so freaking fantastic. We still haven't seen these hands. Where are these hands? Can we get these hands? Oh my gosh, Cena does this all the time. Where are these hands? I don't get it, I don't get it. I really don't, we always see this, obviously that's awesome, but where is this? Oh my God, but this figure looks fantastic. By the look of the shirt, I believe the shirt might be like that elasticy material, so we, we might see the You Can't See Me logo on the back, which is awesome, so we don't see any Velcro. Uh, interchangeable heads are mind blowing with the updated Cena hair. Will he have the bald spot? I can't tell by these photos if he'll have the bald spot, but I feel like he should. If they want to make this figure accurate, he should have the bald spot. But once again, I can't tell by the photos. Uh, open mouth, smiling mouth, basic face. Oh my gosh, this scene is cool. This scene is really cool, and it's going to be an ultra hot seller. I love that rally towel, man. Is that a rubber? It might be a rubber accessory by a closer up photo here. I think it might be a rubber accessory. I don't think that's cloth, uh, but it looks awesome, and I can't wait for it. Uh, Ultimate Edition Gunther, bro. The Ultimate Editions are peak. Peak reveals when it comes to Ultimate Editions. Literally my favorite figure to collect of all time. In general, figures in general, Ultimate Editions. Love them to death. Ultimate Edition Gunther, another figure we talked about yesterday in my other video. It's on my channel, check it out. We talk about the Cody Rhodes, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, all those Ultimate Editions coming out, so I won't talk about those in this video. Uh, Gunther looks fantastic. I like the open mouth head. It looks a little goofy in this photo, only because the head's tilted up. Like, they have the figure tilted up in the photo. It just looks goofy. If, I guarantee if you straighten out the head, it'll look so much better. And the interchangeable heads are cool. Gritted teeth, smug face. I love the robe, the maroon robe. And an Ultimate Edition Gunther, bro, you can't beat that. It's going to be a really nice figure, and I'm excited about it. It'll go really good with the Ludwig and Geo that are going to be available at Mattel Creations soon. I'm really excited for that. Really cool Gunther. Bro, speaking of another Ultimate Edition, bro, we're seeing the real Chief. Before he was Mr. Yeet Down, just regular Jay Uso when he was rebelling against Roman Reigns. I love the attire choice here with the gold palm tree on his freaking pants. So dang cool! Oh, it's such a clean figure. The real Chief shirt, head scans. Uh, look amazing. I love the open mouth face. I think that is so cool. Uh, and then the interchangeable heads photo, the extra one that I have here, both the heads are the same. I find that kind of odd. I don't know if that's a mistake. Uh, but yeah, both the heads are just the smug face of Jay. So I hope maybe he comes with another interchangeable head, but it's not the smug face. Like, we don't need two smug faces, obviously. So maybe it's just the gritted teeth face, I'd assume. But yeah, I'm excited for this Jay. It looks freaking sick. And it's Jay Uso, man. It's like literally everybody's favorite. What a great ultimate, dude. Uh, Eddie Guerrero. We kind of already got a sneak peek of this figure, but I want to talk about it in this video. The Monday Night War figures continue, and I love them. They are awesome. Eddie Guerrero is my favorite wrestler shirt. WCW Championship looks fantastic. I love the attire choice. The gold, the red, the black. The head skins are sick, man. It's like he's, he's rocking like that Dominic Mysterio hair that Dominic has right now. I love that, man. Obviously, Dominic got it from him. Um, but it looks so cool. All the head skins look amazing. Uh, and I'm excited for that Eddie Guerrero in that series as well. We do have Mankind when I did it. I did it when he won the Big Eagle Championship, the WWE Championship. Uh, I love how they're doing a cloth shirt with Mankind. They rarely do that. They always do a rubber shirt with Mankind. And here he is, cloth shirt, 
Face scans look exhausted, which I like, and then he's got interchangeable ones with the Mankind mask on, of course, and Sako. Really excited for that Mankind, it's gonna be cool. Uh, we've got a DDP on the way, got a DDP Elite, which I'm excited about, he looks cool. He's rocking some uh, blue jeans, uh, look, just a classic looking WCW uh, DDP, and I'm excited about it, it's really cool. Here's a Shawn Michaels in a suit, which looks awesome, really unique looking Shawn Michaels, probably making up for the original flashback Walmart exclusive Build-A-Figure, because that, that series got all weird, got mixed up in like freaking like shipping and junk but yeah this sean looks cool dude this stone cold steve austin bro look at the shirt first of all shirt looks sick and i uh got confirmed by mdt because mdt is actually at wwe world uh he said that it's not a, a velcro shirt it's actually one of those elastic shirts so maybe we'll see the lo a logo on the back i love the logo on the front with the half skull half stone cold the extra short shorts look freaking sick bro very cool stone cold then in the background there you can see stevie ray and booker t which we've seen in the past and then you got a, a new big boss man right there which is pretty cool in like the shield gear uh which is pretty cool but the stone cold oh man and then here's another ddp i would assume this is going to be a chase for that series if i had to guess maybe because he's wearing like different color jeans it looks good I like it I think it's cool and then of course you do have Stevie Ray and Booker T behind him ringside collectibles exclusive ultimate edition wolf pack baby we're seeing Scott Hall First here with uh, one half of the WCW, uh, WCW Tag Team Championships. As far as the attire itself, I'm not going to lie, it's very similar to my Elites that I do have. But getting this figure upgraded in Ultimate Edition form, you can't beat that. It looks good. If you want it updated into the Ultimate Edition articulation, pick it up. If you have the Elite already and it's not a priority of yours, I don't blame you if you don't want to get it. But the Kevin Nash, though, whoa, this looks sick, man. They're using all the parts, basically, from the Diesel that we saw in the New Generation ring. And I love that Diesel Ultimate Edition. So seeing him in the red and the black is gonna be sick I love the head scan the extra big long hair to the sides not in a ponytail looks so sick I'm really excited for this Nash it looks freaking badass man ringside exclusive that is awesome they look so cool next to each other especially with the tag titles the WCW tag championships super awesome bro Cody Rhodes dude it's about time that we get that Royal Rumble gear, bro. Here's Cody Rhodes. Royal Rumble winning attire. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm almost positive this is his Royal Rumble 2023 winning gear. Because, uh, of course, he won it 24 as well in a different attire. But this attire is freaking sick. Oh, my gosh. Look at the color to it. White. Red, white, and blue, obviously. But, dude, look at all the white. Looks so fresh. Head looks awesome. Uh, and, wow. It's just an amazing-looking Cody Rhodes. Like, wow. Literally fantastic. Oh, my God. Uh, cannot wait for that. Dude! The Judgment Day? Oh, my gosh. I know I'm acting shocked on, like, every figure reveal. But the figure reveals from today were literally just insane uh, i was flipping out i was literally working and scrolling through my phone and being like oh my god oh my god oh my god the brother's like bro what are you what are you going crazy about i'm like there's no freaking figures bro uh judgment day right here gotta start with finn balor oh this finn balor looks sick bro look at the seven on his uh freaking um shoulder there when uh he waited like seven years to get his opportunity again at the championship uh and he because that's where he tore it with seth rollins uh the pants look sick the jordans look sick the shirt looks cool. Does the head scan look good, though? All right, this could be mixed opinions on this Finn Balor head scan, and I understand. I do like how we're seeing a new facial expression and not just the regular NXT um, style of head scan for Finn Balor. So I, I'm into it. I need to get it in hand and see it up close. Uh, but I think it's pretty good. I think it's animated. I think it's fun. Here's another closer look at Damian Priest as well. He looks fantastic. Oh, my God, that Damian Priest is literally perfect. No didn't, no Money in the Bank briefcase. I find that kind of disappointing. Um, but I'm not, I'm not getting too worried about that. I still think we'll get an Abian Priest with the uh, De Nero and El Banco briefcase, the purple one. Here's another closer look at Dominic Mysterio next to his buddies in the Judgment Day. He looks great, man. Really excited for that Dominic still. And then to top it off at the end, Rhea, bloody Ripley. Mommy's always on top. And whoa, this Rhea looks sick. WrestleMania 39 attire when she beats Charlotte. For the uh, SmackDown Women's Championship. We're swinging the SmackDown Women's Championship with the custom Rhea Ripley side plates. Awesome. I love the attire. I think it's awesome. I think the head scan is good. People have had mixed opinions on the head scan. I think it's good. I like it. I think it looks just like Rhea. I think it's unique. Uh, the attire is freaking sick. Oh, man. They need to give us an Ultimate Edition Rhea Ripley. I think Rhea Ripley as an Ultimate Edition would be so top tier. We need that. This Elite is sick, and I cannot wait for it. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. 
Trish Stratus is finally getting a good figure. My goodness, I feel like they botched Trish Stratus so much in the Elite line, and they're finally making up for it here with this more current Trish Stratus when she was feuded with Becky Lynch when she returned. Um, and this Trish looks awesome, man. Last year, of course. Uh, the hair looks cool. The freaking attire looks cool. Cloth good, entrance good. Cloth good, entrance good. <laughs> Cloth robe, entrance good. Um, and this Trish is cool. I like it. I think it looks fantastic, man. Sandman! What?! Sandman from ECW! ECW! Bro, this is sick, man! I didn't know they got rights to Sandman! This is sick! Um, pants are awesome! Barbed wire? With a Mattel figure? What? That's awesome! He's coming with some soda cans, which look cool! Kendo stick, obviously a hardcore dude, so he's gotta have some hardcore weapons. Uh, I, can't, I still can't believe we're getting Sandman. Uh, freaking awesome! I love the look of the ECW shirt, the head scans are cool! I like him, man! I think it looks just like him! I love it, dude! Uh, we're seeing, um, Ricochet! Ricochet, uh, returning to the Elite line here with a absolutely stupendous attire. Um, he's got a nice cloth entrance good. Same head scan that we've seen with every other Ricochet, so maybe it was time for an upgrade with the head scan, I'll be honest. Um, but it still looks good. There's no denying that head skin's not good. Um, but it's just the same head skin we've seen in the past. But the attire is sick, though. Really cool red, white, and blue attire here on Ricochet. He looks fantastic. Tony D'Angelo, a figure I was not expecting to get from Mattel anytime soon. Of course, still in NXT. Uh, he looks great, though. Rocking this whole cloth good ordeal up top. He looks awesome. I like the attire choice here for Tony D'Angelo. The pants are cool. Uh, I'm excited for it. Is it a figure that, like, oh my god, I wanted a Tony D'Angelo? I mean, no, but it still looks good. I mean, okay, let's go. Tony Baby looks good. And then Sandman here again, here with a chase. He's got an American uh, flag type pants, and he looks freaking awesome in this chase. Definitely getting both of those Sandmans. That is freaking awesome. Mattel's first time in the line for a Sandman, which is so awesome. Here we got two Doink the Clowns. Of course, this is uh, the Bushwhackers as Doink the Clown. Uh, they look freaking epic, unique. What an interesting flashback idea by Mattel to create the Bushwhackers as Doink the Clown when they were imitating them. I think they look goofy. I think they look fun. I like how just the heads are Doink the Clown and then the rest of the bodies are Bushwhackers. I think that's super fun. Uh, maybe, I, I don't know yet, but they could actually come with Bushwhacker head scans. This might just be like a sneak peek. I, I would assume they'd come with Luke and Butch head scans, I think, right? Um, but yeah, these look great regardless. I think they're unique. I think they're cool. Uh, oh my god. This could be my favorite reveal from the entire day. Thursday at WWE World. The Honorary Oos is freaking finally getting a figure as the Honorary Oos. We've seen Sami Zayn's, but we've seen Sam, we've seen the Sami Uso with the cancel of the Zayn, but we haven't seen the Honorary Oos, Sami Zayn in the Elite line, and here he is. My goodness, let's go, dude. War Games attire, it's gonna be able to match the solo, and the two Jimmy Uso, or no, Jimmy Uso and Jey Uso that we got in the red. Literally, we, we're gonna be able to complete the War Games attire. Oh, this Sami is so sick, man. Honorary Oos shirt, head scan with the smiling look. Um, the one hands, the bloodline going down the pants is so dang cool. This could be my favorite reveal. I know I might be tripping a little bit, but I love Sami Zayn figures, and he looks awesome. He looks freaking awesome, dude. Kevin Owens, from that same match, uh, re repping his War Games gear. Uh, he was wearing a Dusty Rhodes shirt in that War Games match, and I forgot about that until I saw this figure. He looks great. He's repping the Elite head skin that they've been using for the Kevins. Uh, and I think this is just a really cool and unique style of Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens likes to wear, well, like, when he goes into hardcore matches, he likes to wear, like, you know, jeans and a t-shirt. Like, they captured that amazingly here with his War Games gear from last year. Or not, not 2023, 2022 War Games. Uh, and, whoa, this Kevin's cool. This Kevin's really unique and cool. I like it. Uh, uh, this SmackDown 4-pack that's going to be coming from Mattel is freaking sick. It's going to be Target exclusive, and it's going to be capturing some of the craziest matches that have happened on SmackDown early, early in SmackDown's life. Um, Eddie Guerrero, John Cena, Booker T, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. So the Eddie Guerrero and John Cena is from a parking lot brawl. If you guys haven't seen that match, check it out. It's insanely hardcore. John Cena repping the Urlacher jersey, bro. I'm a Chicago Bear fan, so he's repping the Urlacher 54 jersey, which is sick. And then, of course, Eddie Guerrero repping the cheat to win. Really unique. I like the pants on these. I think the, the street style of figures is awesome because they were literally fighting in a freaking street parking lot. Uh, and then here we have Booker T and Stone Cold from the infamous grocery store match, which 
which was, or technically it wasn't a match, but the brawl, if you will, uh, Stone Cold looking awesome. You can see he's got like a milk and a thing of mustard in his interchangeable hands, which are cool. And then Booker T looking just like he did when he got attacked in that grocery store. Uh, so freaking sick. Like what a unique idea. Like I would have never even thought of this for Mattel to recreate those figures from that grocery store. Like literally insane. Definitely copying that four pack. It's gonna be Target exclusive, which is pretty cool. Uh, it looks awesome in the packaging as well, my goodness. <laughs> Wow, dude, there are so many good figures. Ludwig Kaiser, Giovanni Vinci. Uh, here's a little, uh, we have we have seen photos of these recently, um, but here they are, and it's confirmed they're getting claw shirts. Thank God. Let's go. <laughs> they look so out of place without the claw shirts. I was like, bro, where are the shirts? Here they are. Ludwig Kaiser repping his own shirt here. He's got the LK for the Lud for Ludwig Kaiser, and then Geo's. He he doesn't have a Geo shirt. He just has an Imperium shirt. But I still think it looks cool. I think these figures look good. The Ludwig head and the Geo head. They do kind of look big for the bodies. But once again, I gotta get the figure in the hand and see how it looks in hand. I like getting a figure in hand before I judge it right away. You know. I mean, though I do judge figures a decent amount, I know, but uh, I like to get it in the hand and then fully make my decision, is this good, is this bad? But the heads do look a little big in these photos, I'm not going to lie, but I am excited for them. I think they look fantastic and they're going to go great with that Ultimate Edition Gunther. Literally, they're going to look fantastic with it. Another up-close look at a Mattel Creations exclusive coming, the four-pack with Billy Graham, freaking Harley Race, that Harley Race looks so dang good whoa freaking super classic looking harley race like when people think of harley race i know they think of that robe man the blue and the red robe i know you think of that like you have to it looks freaking sick come with the classic championships both of them billy graham looks awesome superstar billy graham super awesome and then also in that series we're getting gorilla monsoon that's insane like, I only ever knew Gorilla Monsoon as a commentator. <laughs> so, to see him here in wrestling attire, freaking sick. He's a monster. Uh, and then there's uh, Muhammad Ali, obviously, the greatest of all time, looking fantastic. Uh, and sort of like a more of a casual look. This is going to be a four-pack, MattelCreations.com. Cannot wait. It's freaking so cool. It's like some ultra classics in that pack, and I'm hyped for it. Speaking of ultra classic, Dudley Boys! Yes! Let's go! 3D! We're seeing classic... Dudley Boys, man, from uh, the Ruthless Aggression era, bro. The only Dudley Boys elites we ever got were current Dudley Boys when they returned in, like, 2016, I, I believe it was around there. Uh, and here are some classic Dudley Boys rocking the classic shirts. Obviously, these are unfinished figures. That's why they are all gray. Um, but they look fantastic, man. These are just the molds, the prototypes, the Dudley Boys classic shirt. The Devon looks so cool with his singlet and his overalls. Oh, man, I'm hyped for these. These look cool. I've always wanted classic Dudley Boys. This was on my list, and boom. Can check it off. I don't know what series these are going to be a part of, but they look really freaking cool. And we're also seeing the headbangers, Mosh and Thrasher. Dude, I remember when they freaking got a merchandise deal with WWE. I'm like, oh, we're going to be getting WWE Elite headbangers. That's freaking cool. Uh, I had another classic Legends tag team to my shelf. I have a cool Legends freaking tag team shelf over here. It looks freaking sick. You already know these are going to be going on them. Come with the classic World Heavy, oh, not World Heavyweight, World Tag Team Championships. I love all the cloth goods used here, the cloth kilts to the cloth shirts. The heads look amazing, man. Oh my gosh. Mosh and Thrasher, they both look fantastic. My goodness. Seeing updated photos of the LW05 pack that was available on Mattel Creations. It was a made-to-order pack. Uh, so we're seeing updated photos of it. It looks fantastic. The Selena Vega is so cool. I think the Selena Vega steals the spot for the number one figure out of this pack. It looks awesome. Awesome. I love the Puerto Rican flag being displayed. Uh, the hair is cool. Oh, the Selena Vega is just top tier, man. Uh, and the Rey Mysterio right up front looks cool with his more like just casual attire with a shark mask. That is cool. You got Joaquin Wild, Cruz del Toro, and Santos Escobar also in this pack. They all look amazing. My goodness, they all look so real. And obviously Santos no longer in the LWO. But even if you look at his attire, he's got LDF on the knee pads. Legado de Fantasma, which he's in right now. So that could be used as a current Santos Escobar. Uh, uh, it looks freaking awesome. I cannot wait for that pack. I did order it when it was a made-to-order, so I have that one already paid for and on the way, which I'm really excited about. Uh, we're seeing some new basics here. I tried to capture basically only the basics that are new because they had a big setup at WWE World. I just tried to capture the new figures. Got a new Stone Cold here with some cool white and black knee braces. That's pretty cool. Got a new Mankind on the way. Very similar to what we've been seeing. If you need a new Mankind, though, pretty solid basic. Love this Cody Rhodes with the freaking cutoff sweatshirt and the Flame Nightmare logo. Definitely getting that. I'm not normally a big basic buyer, but that Cody Rhodes is cool. Looks like he's doing a crossroads to a new Braun Breaker, which looks pretty good as well. Uh, here's a Sheamus right here. And is it just me? Is that Sheamus hair look black? 
bro. His his hair's supposed to be orange, bro. Um, that looks like black hair to me. I don't know if it's just the photo. He's doing a bro kick to the carrying cross. We've seen that figure before. Uh, here are a bunch of new basics here. Right up at the top, where he belongs. Roman Reigns coming with the new undisputed WWE Universal Championship. That looks awesome. Got a rock next to him, which looks good. Diamond Exterior looks good. That John Cena looks fantastic with the uh, G.I. Joe L armbands. Cool Ray Mysterio on the bottom left there with the yellow and the and the white. And you got an awesome looking Seth Rollins, which is that Seth Rollins going to become with that World Heavyweight Championship? That would be insane. Uh, and if so, I'd probably get it because I like that attire too. I like the Seth with the highlights in the hair and the white. That's pretty dang cool. Got a Roddy Piper here, which doesn't look the best in my opinion. I'm definitely not going to be getting that. Uh, Rhea Ripley, another figure that I just do not think looks good. But I do like her shirt. I am your mommy. Or I'm your mommy. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, championship's cool, but I'm not really a big fan of the figure. This cane's pretty cool. If you need a classic cane, he's rocking an Ultimate Edition head skin, interchangeable hand, updated articulation. Looks pretty solid. Um, and, oh, dude, Imperium. Look at all the basic figures for Imperium here. You got Ludwig, Geo, Gunther. They all look really cool in basic form, not going to lie. This Shayna Baszler, easily the best basic announced. This looks fantastic. Uh, I love the red and the white. The spade hands. We've never seen the uh, spade hands for uh, Shayna Baszler. And here she is in basic form. White, red. It looks sick. I love the makeup on her eyes. That is sick, bro. Like the lightning off her freaking eyelids. That's sick. It was hard to get a photo of this, but Dominic Mysterio. There's another basic Dominic Mysterio on the way. And he's wearing a She Is My Mommy shirt. Or uh, She's My Mommy, which is pretty cool. And it looks like that Dom has a new head scan too. But Rey Mysterio. There's a Rey Mysterio figure doing a Hurricane Rana to it. So I could barely see the freaking figure. But I tried my best with the photo here. Uh, he looks pretty cool. I'll probably get that basic because I like the shirt. She's my mommy. That's funny. This Seth Rollins is a basic? What? Bro, this is so shocking to me. Uh, blue with the leopard print? That's like one of his like like classic attires when he first became world heavyweight champion. Like this is this was like literally his attire. Why is this a basic? First of all, okay, it looks good as a basic. I'll admit it. But like, whoa, this should have been elite. Because he had a really cool entrance piece too when he was wearing this attire. It was like big and bulky around his shoulders. I was like, whoa, that should be a figure. But it's his basic? That's just shocking to me. I'm still getting it though because it looks sick. I got a basic John Cena too with the red. Little flashback to 2014, I believe. Uh, with the red, looks pretty cool. Uh, I got a new Hulk Hogan. Uh, why not? Python Power shirt, not bad. Uh, I got a Jey Uso here, Austin Theory, with one of the best basic head skins of all time. I know you can't see it in the photo, but it's literally fantastic. I uh, got another John Cena here. I believe that one's from like 2018 with the uh, the green, not bad. Uh, Caden Carter, Katana Chance. Um, I really wanted to see photos of these figures in person because I've only ever seen uh, computer generated ones. And I'll admit, these look pretty dang good in like real life, like not computer generated. These look pretty freaking good, especially the Caden Carter. My goodness, those heads look amazing. The attires are kind of bland, but you gotta remember they're basics. Um, but they look amazing. Oh, the heads look great on both Caden Carter and Katana Chance. Uh, this Ray Mysterio is kind of boring in my opinion. This Love Morgan's okay, not my favorite. I'm not gonna get it, but not a bad color scheme. I like the purple and the green. That has been all the new basic elite and ultimate edition figure reveals from day one of WWE World. There were some new WWE Superstar figures announced. There were some new WWE retros announced, but I only wanted to capture and talk about the elite ultimate edition and basic figures. That's where we mainly focus here on the Better Life YouTube channel. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My favorite figure reveal from day one of WWE World. Once again, it might shock some people, but the honorary Ooh Sami Zayn. I might get some hate for that, but that figure, so peak. I love that figure, man. And it probably has to do with because I loved Sami Zayn and the Bloodline so much, and that figure is just so freaking sick. Um... And after that would probably be that Seth Rollins Ultimate Edition. That fire one with the horns. Oh, that thing's cool. But the Sammy, oh, that figure's awesome. Let me know your favorite figure reveal from WWE World Day 1 down in the comment section down below. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this long but really fun video to make. Stay tuned. Videos dropping all throughout the weekend. We're going to be talking about more new figures. And we're going to be talking about Night 1 and Night 2 of WrestleMania. Figure setup style. I'll see y'all beautiful people next time. Run alive. Ow.